Welcome to the USA Roundup. Uh, there was so much amazing boxing this weekend. Uh, let's start off with some of the boxing that went down this Saturday. MC in the ring here, Jay-Z in the ring here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to Sim Boxing. Uh, let's start off with the show that went down in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Saturday night via Showtime. We had Subrio Matias versus Jeremiah Ponce for the vacant IBF Junior uh, Walter Wade title, the 140 uh, belt. Of course. We also had Jamal James versus Alberto Palmera on a 12 round Walter Wade fight. Yep. And then the main, the other fight, the introductory event that night was Elvis Rodriguez, the opening bout was opening was Elvis Rodriguez versus Joseph Adorno. And that was a 10 round Junior Walter Wade. And yep. that, to me, was an amazing fight. Yeah, that was a really good fight. Uh, uh, Elvis came in, uh, he really didn't do too well in the first five rounds. Um, he didn't come in until like the sixth round. Uh, that's where he started uh, doing some work. That's where he ended up dropping him, I believe, in the seventh round. Um, uh, and then I believe again in the tenth round. They did say it was a trip in the tenth round, but they did count it as a drop. Um, so uh, towards the middle rounds, he did start coming back. He did start putting pressure on. He started landing harder shots. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a really good test. Uh, Ardono uh, it had a tough chin. Yeah. Joseph Ardono was a really good uh, competitor. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's going around social media saying that he won. Yeah. Then uh, Elvis is like, no way you didn't yeah. win. Like the scorecards. Yeah. Do you remember the scorecards? How did you have it? Scored? Yeah, I mean, I think they gave him a, a draw and they gave two two rounds to to Elvis, but barely like one or two, yeah. one round, two yeah. rounds. So it was very close. It scored it very close. Um, it could have gone either way. I think what helped was getting the two knockdowns. Like you think I, that happens again? Like, is that a fight that you would want to see a rematch for? Yeah, I think they could do a rematch. Yeah. I, I really I believe agree. that. Uh, I, I think he deserves a rematch. Um, yes. So, and I think it was, it was a good test. Um, it, uh, I think Elvis did a better job uh, actually boxing. In, uh, knowing, He's getting better, yeah. I feel. Because, I mean, Adorno had a tough chin. He was able to drop him, but he still had to go the distance, still win by points. Um, but like I said, he did get two 10-8 rounds um, that helped him uh, probably solidify that win. If he didn't get that that second knockdown in the 10th round, I believe, he probably would have gotten that win. So that's how close it was. Like I said, it, uh, uh, I would like to see a rematch. But uh, Elvis did what he had to do. He does have power. Um, he wasn't able to get the knockdown, but he, like uh, he was able to drop him. So I'm excited to see what he has in store for the future. Um, now he's uh, 14. Um, 14 and 1 with one draw. Uh, so I'm excited to see what. And of course, we do have Freddie Roach as his main trainer, but I believe he has his apprentice who's been working under Freddie. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember his name. I think it's Marwin, I believe. Mm -hmm. And he's been working with him for a while already. And, and I think you're starting to see a lot of that improvement as far as Elvis goes. So I'm excited to see him again. I would like to. Maybe he feels that he doesn't need to do the rematch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if he goes back and rewatches that fight, he might see some things that he might need to get better at. And Joseph Adorno too. I think this is, was a great learning experience for yeah. Joseph Adorno. And I don't think that we're done. This is not going to be the last of it. Yeah. They're going to both come back, I think. Yeah. And then after that, we moved over to the Jamal James versus Alberto Palmera. Yeah. Jamal James, hometown hero, right? Yeah, exactly. He hadn't fought uh, since 20, uh, 20, 2021. Yes. I think he got COVID like three times, too. Um, so, yeah, he's been th uh, in, uh, been through the ringer these last few years. Uh, but, yeah, he was fine in his hometown uh, in Minnesota. He got the unanimous decision. I mean, he's 6'2 with a 78-inch reach yeah. advantage. So he has a humongous reach advantage. Of course, he was able to uh, keep uh, Palmetto away from him in uh, one unanimous. He won like pretty much almost every round. Um, so yeah, he did what he had to do. Uh, he used his size and his athleticism um, and uh, through combinations to keep Palmetto uh, off of him. So uh, he was able to uh, win that fight pretty easily. Yeah, and then we moved over to the main event. And exactly. all I can say is, wow. I know. What a banger. Exactly. From the beginning, like opening bell, we're going to go right into it. There was no... Yeah. I'm gonna feel you out for a little bit. Yeah. They went straight to it. Exactly, and I mean, from round one, round one, Ponce just, I, I didn't expect that him to do that. I called it in the beginning saying he was gonna utilize his jab yes. and go to the body. He didn't go to the body once, and he was just throwing haymakers from round one. So uh, he, he uh, 
Matias was able to bring him into the fight that Matias wanted him to come into. Do what I gave him that first scary. round, and that was the only round uh, Bones had got. After that, he was just getting rocked. I mean, he was landing his own shots, but Matias, like, he has a tough chin. He's got the chin, like, and he's got the power, like, yeah, so... His chins, like, where they're not going down, so... I mean, he was able to get uh, drop him, I believe, at the end of the fifth, and yes, then the corner to stop him. him. Which yeah. I am very yeah. proud of his corner for stopping. Exactly. Uh, Ponce is a warrior. He would have been out there and would have fought another round. Yeah. I don't think he's the type of fighter that would communicate that there's different types of fighters, guys. Yeah. And that's one thing that we have to understand that not every fighter is going to tell you, hey, I can't see. Yeah. Not, not really. every fighter is going to do that. And we cannot sit here and judge yeah. either fighter for doing that. Like uh, I mean, Bones, is a, he's a, a warrior. He wasn't going to yes. go, go down without a fight, without swinging. So, I mean, I didn't expect him to fight like that. I, I knew if he fought like that, he was going to get knocked out. That's not usually how he fights. He just tries to go to the body. He uses, utilizes his jab, which I thought he would have been able to do against Matias because Matias likes to go in but I mean okay Bonsa, so but yeah I'm excited though I mean uh of course Matias did win the IBF belt so now he has that at 140 so they were saying him versus Regis I would love that fight for unification for those two belts for the WBC and IBF so I mean can Showtime make that happen it's not even really I don't even really know if if Matias is signed specifically with Showtime that might be his promoter does business with yeah. that company you know what I mean but at, at the end of the day basically what I'm saying is that that is the fight that we want to see I I'm not really sure if this is going to be something that might get ordered and it happens via yeah. that that way yeah. you get what I'm trying to say unfortunately right now he just got the IBF uh Regis hasn't fought again to defend that belt. Mm. We're not sure what's going to happen there. But yeah. there are talks that Jack Cattero is supposed to be fighting Regis. Yeah. The whole landscape of the 140, yeah. it's just so interesting. Especially when you get a guy like Matias in yeah. there. He comes with it. Yeah. He's got the chin. And he's got the, the background. I yeah. believe he's had a good amateur career. Mm -hmm. And he definitely wants it. You oh, can yeah. tell that he's still hungry for yeah. it. Being this isn't enough for him. Yeah. Like the way that he was even behaving after the he won, yeah. he was super calm. Like he almost kind of gave me tank vibes. Yeah. Where they're like. I mean, I mean, he did uh, serve time in prison, nineteen months in prison. Yes. Um. So he's been through it. Like I mean, uh, of course he's a warrior. He did what he had to do to to uh, take that belt. I'm excited for him. To, I'm excited uh, to see him at one forty. He's gonna be a problem for a lot of people at one forty. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, Regis isn't signed with uh, Showtime. He might be signed with Probetum. Yeah. Are, Not Probetum. I mean, Marvin, I, I don't know. Yeah. I think he signed with someone. I'm not sure, but yeah. yeah. Um, it's more like who's going to want to become undisputed? Yeah. Or is anybody even going to become undisputed? Or yeah. are you more, more going to be moving up in weight? The way we're seeing it right now, a lot of people have now become undisputed. Yeah. That it might be a very special weight class to the fighter that might want to do it in that weight class. Like, he might have a meaning yeah. behind it. So, like, we're seeing Bebo possibly want to go down to 168 just to have a chance at a 168 undisputed, yeah. right? So, now it's happening many ways. So, I, I think that... I mean, you already have Lopez already getting a title shot against Taylor. Yes, that's but, I gonna mean, happen. What happens when Haney comes so up? Haney's going to be coming to up, be... I think, after Lomachenko. So then Ryan is going to be coming well, we up know. after the uh, tank fight. He's only going down just to get. But that that's tank like fight. probably next year. Yeah. I feel. I mean, I feel like these fights can happen yeah. still this year. Like, yeah. who is Regis going to fight? We know that Jack Carter is supposed to be in talkings yeah. with Regis, but we don't know uh, yeah. is, if that's going to happen. Josh Taylor is going to happen with Teofimo Lopez. Yeah. That has already been announced yeah. by, officially by ESPN. So in reality, they're probably going to... It's like Matias don't even need a break. Yeah. Like, he only fought six, five rounds, yeah. you know what I mean? No, I, I, think, so, I think I would love the Carter versus uh, Regis. Uh, well, that, I think that's going to happen. I think that needs to happen. Uh, but, I mean, Matias uh, can fight at the end of the year. I Alberto know. Puello is going to be fighting uh, Roley. Romero oh, yeah, soon. Yeah. I believe that's, I don't know if that's out on the schedule yet, but it is going to happen. Yeah. I think we've got a word from his man, uh, trainer that it is going to happen. So a lot to be happening in the 140. Uh, let us what, let us know what you think about the 140 division. Let us know what you thought about the Supremo Macias. And make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and follow us on our Twitter and Instagram. JC, JC in the ring, MC in the ring. Thank you. Thank you guys.